enchanting town of Agus Bulangi Albay, a hidden craft thrives, capturing the imagination of all who venture. A world where the rhythmic strokes of broom making give birth to extraordinary tales as where dreams find life in each meticulously crafted prison. In the heart of Agus lies a vibrant marketplace where vendors proudly display their prized creations while Istanbul brooms. It is a tradition that has stood the test of time, passed down from one generation to the next. But the true essence of this remarkable craft becomes even more intriguing as a remarkable man, a guardian of the Walistambu tradition, had been encountered. In delving deeper into Agus, unveil the captivating story of this extraordinary man, the son of the very person who pioneered the art of making Walistambu brooms in their beloved community, wherein his hands carry not only the skills but also the legacy of generations ensuring that the spirit of this cherished craft lives on. Ako po si Leopoldo Mike Senor, 54 years old. Ako po ang may-ari ng Mickey Sofro. sa pagbuo nitong walistambo o itong negosyo ninyo? Bale, unang-una yung pinagang materialis. Tapos, ihimayin siya. Kukunin ko yung pang-handle, yung alam price, ganun. Itatali ko yung pinakangtambo niya doon sa handle. Mr. Lipongo's dedication to preparing the materials for broom making is truly commendable. His meticulous attention to detail showcases his deep respect for the craft. He ensures that only the finest materials make their way into the creation of each broom. Mr. Leopoldo's commitment to sourcing the ideal components demonstrates his understanding of how the quality of materials directly impacts the final product. Pupotasan yung pinakang dolo ng steak or handel para ilagay yung panabit doon. Tatahiin yung tambo para mabuo. Tatahiin, bubukain tatahiin. In this part of broom making, a crucial step lies in the precise and delicate art of sewing. Join us as we delve into the process of sewing a broom where skillful hands transform simple materials into a functional cleaning tool. Now that the broom corn 
has been prepared. It's time to bring it all together. In this part, the skilled workers are sewing the broom cord onto the handle, creating the distinctive shape of the Walistambo. With deft movements, the artisans tightly bind the broom corn around the handle, securing it in place. The sewing technique they employ is a true art form as they ensure that each broom corn strand is perfectly aligned, resulting in a sturdy and durable Wallis Tambo. These remarkable brooms not only embody the skill and craftsmanship of their makers but also serve as essential household tools in many communities. With their sturdy construction and beautiful designs, Walistambo continues to be cherished by people around the world. Sir, kailan ka ho nagsimulang gumawa ng Walistambo? Since 1970s, 75 or 76. Paano ka nagsimulang gumawa ng Walistambo? Bali po, ano, Yung magulang ko nung mga, mga grade 6 ako na mula ito ko talaga, negosyo niya walis tambo. Paano pa ho nito natulungan para may tukuyod ang iyong pamilya sa araw-araw? Sa, sa pamamagitan ng pagtitinda ko, natuto akong mag-retail, mag-wholesale. Doon ko po kinukuha lahat ng gastosin ko sa pagtaguyod ng aking pamilya. Mr. Lipoldo's craftsmanship brings to life a tool that has been relied upon for generations. Each room he creates carries the essence of her skill and dedication. Through his hands, rooms become more than just cleaning tools. They become a testament to the artistry and tradition of broom making. <laughs> 